Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be showing you how to make this eye bloom bazooka tanker. So yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so for materials you're gonna be needing some foam, and here I have memory foam that I cut off a pillow that I have. And then you'll need something to mix on, so I just have this little plastic baggie. And then of course you'll need toothpicks to mix your paints. And then for paints, mostly you'll just be needing some white, blue, and yellow, but you'll also be needing a little bit of brown, red, and black. So yeah. Okay, so to cut out the bazooka, you basically just want to cut out the pieces of foam that surround the bazooka, and then the leftover foam is just going to be the little bazooka that sits on top. And next I am cutting out the wheels and this is basically the same thing you just want to cut off a chunk of the sides so that the wheel is a lot more obvious and you just want to rip that chunk off so yeah okay so now it should look a little something like this and it's really rough but I'm just gonna go ahead and smooth out the edges and make the proportions look a little better so yeah. Okay, so I finished cutting out the shape. So here's what it looks like. There's the front and here's the back. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start painting it. So basically what you wanna do is paint the body white along with the bazooka and then paint most of the wheels blue. Okay, so to paint the bazooka, you want to start with each end white, and then from there you want several shades of yellow, orange, and brown. So here I am just mixing a little orangey brown color, and so you want to start darkest in the middle, and it's kind of fade out into the white, so there'll be like pale yellow right next to the white, and you'll kind of see how it looks like. It's basically like a gradient, and if you look at the bazooka, the actual squishy, this is kind of what it looks like, so yeah. Something else to keep in mind is that there are three white circles on the sides of the wheels so you want to leave space for that or you could just paint it over the paint but here I'm just leaving space for that and I'm going to go back and paint it white later. Okay so next I am going ahead and drawing on the eyes and this is actually a lighter shade of blue than I used for the wheels so I'm just going to draw on both of those eyes. So I went ahead and let the paint dry, so here is what the squishy looks like, and I think it turned out pretty cute, so I really like it, and it's pretty squishy. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and bye!